Hi guys. So I'm going to do this video. It's been a long time since I actually did a video pertaining to scripture. And I've been through a lot of uh, horatious things in my life in the past two years. Horatious. Oh, I'll tell you something. I might let things, uh, more things out in, in future videos, but I'm on ground zero, you guys, for the start of the tribulation. I'm on ground zero, and um, those have been following my channel from very, very early. I could pull out dream after dream after dream after dream after dream after dream after dream, after dream. and uh, awake visions and songs and things like that of what God was showing not only on a political level on a national level but on a personal level tying into those things um, and what would happen in the future in my life which has been horatious it's been horrendous it's been a nightmare but God has been holding my hand every second of the way even, what's the scripture? Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. But I was sitting here thinking about, you know, I've, I've come across a lot of videos or a lot of your guys' videos that are talking about where we, we fly any second. Well, that might, might be true. Uh, God's time clock is different than our time clock. If a, if a day equals a thousand years and a thousand years equals a day. Um, his, his clock is, is a little bit different. And I know that through going back through my dreams and Holy Spirit bringing to remembrance, um, he told me five, six years ago, uh, in a dream that, uh, I was sitting in a convertible car in the parking lot of a grocery store with someone else. And I looked up in the sky and it was a cloudy, rainy day, drizzly, and the clouds opened up. And it got very bright, and I heard the voice of the Lord say, America is on borrowed time. Now, there's things connected to this being in the parking lot of a grocery store, in the car I was in, and things like that. Like I said, just horrendous things in my life that currently my neighbors are trying to mimic. It's, it's a story, I'm telling you. <laughs> uh, but... I was thinking that, yeah, we fly soon, but God's time clock is different. We're on borrowed time. And I was also shown in a dream a, a hand that was carrying around one of those old castration things that you use on sheep or whatever. And there were people running around. I don't know what they were doing. They were being stupid. And I heard the Lord say, the castration of America. The castration of of America and early on um, I was also shown a man backhand a woman so hard her head hit the ground before her rear did I saw a military tank and then I was shown this massive pole in front of this I don't know the White House the Senate somewhere at a Capitol and I was looking down on this massive pole I knew it was a flagpole but there was no flag. The pole was empty. There was no flag. And I heard the Lord say, the tribulation is about to begin. Those that are watching. And I was told Nissan. Now, at the, during this time frame, it was very early on. I didn't know what Nissan was. I, well, it, 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 it's, a, it's a double meaning. It was, he was talking about a car. But he was also talking about watching Israel as also a time clock and how it computes with scripture. So I'm thinking about these things and I'm thinking about all these things God has shown me. And not just me. I've come across hundreds and hundreds of confirmation dreams of things God has shown, visions that tie into these little things. Okay, I had to pause it for a second. But family stuff. <laughs> okay, so 
And I also re- remember back when God showed me in a dream an earthquake. First, he, uh, okay, I was in this aerial view and I saw this big, massive Ferris wheel with these bucket seats on it. And they were all multicolored and it, the Ferris wheel was spinning really slowly. And on one of the buckets I saw written on it, it said, War is coming. Get prepared. And then I saw the next bucket come over and it said, written on that one, it said, a great earthquake is coming very soon. And as I, my eyes averted from this and looked down the coastline, because now I was way up in the sky, I saw rubble upon rubble upon rubble. There was nothing left all the way down to these cities, 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 nothing left. There were people running and screaming. There were men in uniforms that spoke different languages. They had turquoise or teal hats on, blue hats. They were calling out to people in their own language, and they were telling people where to go. Um, I've had dreams about, and many others, about tsunamis. And especially up here. If you look at the map, we have the Juan de Fuca. Oh. 